Hey, how are you guys? You may sincere and you're watching I am you, you are me channel. And today we're doing a modern deck deck um on a deck called Bent Amulet. So uh this is a deck that made I think fourth place in the two thousand seventeen TCG State Mississippi series, I believe. And then it was um uh by John Clock or Clock. And uh this is also response to um I think Dak Dak by MTG Goldfish channel for by Saffron Olive. But originally um the deck that they actually covered had I believe two amulet of figures, um four colors to retreat to coral helm and then i think there's two nest invaders and on the sideboard there is um thick i believe um ley line of sanctity yes okay anyway so um the difference in this um um deck that i um tinkered a little bit you know um made it a little bit on my own um you know my own liking cuz i did um, play on it a bit and I felt the need to actually um, put it on the combo side more so on the land base still the same you still have the breeding pool dried arbor uh, for fetching you know um, at these land based creatures um, what's good about the fetches here is that you trigger the retreat to coral hel coral helm that um you know the combo by itself but if some of um you guys are not familiar how it it works it's actually a combo for um retreat to coral helm uh which is a landfall based whenever land enters the battlefield you you know you choose one and definitely you you're gonna choose uh main tap or untap target creature which you then <coughs> um tap and untap knight of the reliquary so uh you keep searching for lands you sacrifice for so planes then um it's best to actually look for um the fetch land so it triggers twice so you um fetch you trigger you fetch you trigger and then um it's also ideal that you have lotus cobra in play um so you can add more mana keep adding more mana and then uh, i don't know for some reason you can actually reach it to like um emrakul <laughs> em emrakul um you know emrakul mana to actually cast it hard cast uh, emrakul and also um what helps here is the primeval titan um which you can actually look for um pieces that will trigger retreat um you can trigger um knight at the same time tap in and tap look for you know look for creatures and stuff you can also trigger um uh, noble or birds of paradise to make you know a tons of mana at the same time and um, one of the uh, important piece here is the amulet of vigor so um, on the um, on the probably um, it the last part that you might want to search for if you have enough you know yeah if you have enough power and toughness for the night um, you could actually look for the land Mossward Bridge, which and then if you have the Amulet of Vigor, um, that lets your land or per uh, permanent enters the battlefield tap under your control and tap it. So on the hideaway, um, this this um land comes into play tap and you can untap it using the uh, Amulet of Vigor, and then you can, you know, um, exile a card and pay it if you have your the, the knight at the power of 10 so basically it's like um if you were able to luckily snatch on emrakul at that time and you have the power of 10 basically you can hard cast it using the hideaway ability and also you can look for your um, the wind brisk heights when you're about to cat uh, when you're about to attack um cast it away uh with the um ability of wind brisk heights and then um if you're able to cheat emrakul you get to attack the sec um on the next turn that you can um 
<coughs> that is triggered by the Emrakul ability, which just gives you another turn. So um, overall, this deck is actually <laughs> it takes a lot of time to actually getting used to it, and the combo um, it takes a lot of thinking to like. It's it's super similar to uh, Bloom Titan, like way back. Um, you search for lands, you untap and tap. Um, you look for pieces that you need, but this one it takes a lot of time for reals. Kids of the night, um, you keep on tap and tapping it. Uh, you, you you gotta um, put the triggers on stack. You no know, things like a lot of things going on in this um, deck. So um, the reason why I cut on the spell caller um, is not. It's actually really good. You know, um, to be honest, that um, you're able to um, counter like for example. Um, a mirror like collected companies uh you can counter uh to protect your creatures like path to excels and stuff you know uh but then four of um spell caller is for me um i would rather have uh, another copy of amulet and another copy of retreat so the combo itself you can actually um uh, make full use of it you know the combo and um um so you can actually uh, you know, get ahead you know, uh, instead of like you know waiting for, for a creature, you're waiting for it to be protected and stuff like that. But then he, this, it's like a race here. You need to keep on, um, building up your combo, and Wargate. Um, this is really actually really good, real good card. Um, I was like, um, I was like baffled. Like, uh, why is there like one, one piece of leyline of san sanctity? So I was thinking maybe um, it's a good, um uh it's just a good number for the war f war gate to actually fetch it so if you need if you need the um you know if you actually need it you actually can just look for the um the ley line of sanctity but um in some cases the war gate is actually just to fetch lands you know um if you're actually looking for your wind brisk or your moss word you can just look for um you can just cast the Wargate and just look for it. It's like um, what do you call that? Uh, you're transmuting a land to find <laughs> find another land, something like that. So, uh, basically that's the what's the main board is like. So, like I said, uh, the combo um mainly relies on the retreat to Coral Helm, Coral Helm to actually uh, make uh, tons of mana, tons of um triggers for a night, for it to grow even bigger get more lands, trigger it with Lotus co Cobra, produce more, a lot more lands, and then you can hard cast whatever you guys want. Um, on the sideboard plan, uh, th I think the only change that I made here is remove the, um, the Ley Lamp Sanctity. Um, I have Spell Queller here. Instead, if I, <coughs> if, you know, if I need more uh, protection, uh especially for like i don't know like combos um a lot of um you know for casting or less that you can actually make utilize this um this ability um like <coughs> the, the the other um you know deck tech mentioned that stony silence is good against uh, a lot of artifacts a lot of artifact hate um activated abilities uh, there's a lot of um, you know decks use uh, uses um, those uh, artifacts. Timely reinforcement is um, good for aggro, aggro matchups. Um, Elishnorn is just really good to protect your creatures and get ahead of um, you know like uh, mirror matches. Um, get ahead of like um, uh, a lot of like uh, you know aggro creature based um, decks. Just like literally just kill them off. Because you can easily cast the uh, Elish Norn in what uh, four turns or three turns if, if it's you know it's it's really good. Um, Cross and Grip, it's a <coughs> it's a no brainer. Um, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Uh, mostly against you know like ensnaring bridge things like that 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 will prevent your creatures from attacking. Um, what else? Summoning Trap um, is really good. Um, on control matchups, like if they were able to cast your, um, I mean, ab able to control, you know, um, being me reason being that um, they able to um, to counter your your creature spells, um, it lets you <coughs> play it for free, 
then um, on the other on that part you can actually um, uh, like it says here, look at the top seven cards of your library, and you may put a creature card among them into the battlefield. So basically, it's like playing it for free, and and you're a very creature-based um, uh, deck. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically about how the the wind, I mean the the wind, I'm sorry, the uh, the deck works, and I really like it. I really like how it um how the deck um runs it just it takes a lot of um you know a lot of time a lot of getting used to it and um i'm sure if you're not playing in a tournament based uh tournament based what do you call this um tournament based game in mtgo a lot of people will just quit on you because you're taking too much time but then um on paper magic um if you're so um so adjusted to how the deck works it's it's just golden it's golden it's it's really lovely i i i i grabbed this deck because <laughs> i love emrakul and i love eldrassi and anything that is you know played like by eldrassi is like i i take it <laughs> if you notice my decks are mostly like well with Emrakul, I have the Modern Expertise, the Tooth and Nail Experiment, um, <coughs> Modern Expertise, Gorya's Vengeance, which is again with <laughs> with Emrakul, Eldrazi. Uh, well, Emrakul is not here, but still with Eldrazi. And I think the only deck that I I have currently that um, doesn't have an Eldrazi is um, the Ad Nauseum, uh, which is my very main deck in the Paper Magic. And yeah. So uh, I hope you guys like the tag tag, and if you guys have any suggestions, um, requests, or um, you know input regarding um, the deck Bant Amulet, please put your comments on the section down below, and I would love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much again for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. Bye.